Hello, my monstrosities. Welcome back to another build video. This time, it is on a character that I do not play at all. Do not let the prestige fool you. I only wanted the shiny whatever the fuck reward it would be and didn't care if Trapper got prestiged a bunch of times. So, we have Trapper with a no healing build. Why is that? Well, two of his perks work in tandem with one perk that got changed. Chorophobia now makes it harder for people to heal by the original effect, but also skill checks are harder to hit within the killer's tear radius. Agitation expands that radius when we're carrying people. Unnerving presence makes skill checks smaller within the tear radius. And gift of pain, because if I'm going to be carrying people, I might as well have a fucking reason to do it. Add-ons do the same thing as gift of pain, which is mangled and hemorrhage. So, that's the idea. Um, this was a one-shot, because I don't know how much trapper I can take in my life. I don't know how to convince you all that this was a one-shot. But the gameplay might suffice, because I don't play trapper whatsoever. So, yeah. Roll the clip, and I hope you enjoy. Okay, so I probably should have thought a little bit harder about this when I said no healing Trapper. Because Trapper needs time to set up, right? And like, I don't know what to do, how to do that efficiently. So, we're just going to put them in bushes and shit. Because I think that might work because it'll catch people off guard. I also think that this map might help. I don't know, is this a trapper map? Can a trapper main tell me in the comments? I have no clue if this is good for me or bad for me. Uh, whew, this is... This is a doozy. Okay, first gen is done. I'm going to try to not stress about gens, really. Then again, but for like a different reason, okay? So, on my killers that you don't hear me comment gens too much, like Trickster or Pinhead, that's because I'm comfortable with the character. And I know that I can make it go in a favor, but I'm not comfortable with Trapper at all. And pretty much I'm not going to care is because I know Trapper is late game. And they're going to have to start coming on my side eventually. So I think that'll be in our saving grace. All right, somebody was still fooling around back here. I'm not gonna lie, I thought I was too tall for that mind game, but I'm okay with it. I'm, I'm okay with it. I'm okay. I'm I'm happy that it happened. Words, monster words. Survivors love these trees nowadays. I see. Um, Fang, you alright there? You wanna, wanna think about maybe running? I know I'm Trapper, but damn, at least act like you care. But this is also perfect timing because now I have agitation. You're probably gonna try to heal right under hook, so maybe this will start working? Okay, it didn't work whatsoever. Get this shit off me! Alright, that was a very interesting run. But in hindsight, I think the build might have actually helped. And again, I don't know which part. Actually, maybe both. Maybe Coldrophobia and Gift of Pain did work together to make it so that it allowed me to get that first hit because they took longer to heal. 
go fucking shot you wiggle off of that. I have agitation. What the hell? Did you have flip flop for two seconds? <laughs> you then proceeded to absolutely squander your newfound gift, but I and you put yourself at basement. Like, what are you doing? I understand that I'll waste the time, but I think you just put yourself in a way worse situation than need be. There's no way you don't drop that pallet. Like, what are you waiting for? The next fucking round? Your greed would cost you. I feel like that was definitely probably a Star Wars quote. I don't know. I didn't watch Star Wars, y'all. No! I embarrassed myself in 4K! I forgot the fucking traps affect me too! Why is that a mechanic of this game? That's why she didn't drop the fucking palace. You know I was gonna do that dumb shit. And it has to stay in the video. I mean, I guess it doesn't have to. You can all act like I didn't just do that. But fucking hell. Gee, I told y'all I don't play Trapper. Fuck. And I am coming to you once again to ask, what the fuck are you doing, bro? Why are you running straight into me? How the hell are you dead on hook? What happened? I'm not even running Monster Shrine nor camping. What the fuck happened? Okay, so you have a teammate on hook that seems to be going to second, and you're pumping out gens in the background, and I have not seen your other teammate, so that explains how the first person is dead. What the fuck are y'all doing? Look, I know everybody's been bitching about the killer buffs and everything on the survivor side, but once again, I'm here to tell you the biggest killers are the survivors themselves. You're either unhooking way too fast while I'm still right there, or unhooking never. So, I'm just saying, y'all don't have to do it like that. Okay, that's time number two with these wiggers. Maybe I'm getting way too over ambitious with agitation, like... Back in my day, I definitely make this. Like, is this, is this breakout and shit, or am I really just this garbage? Like, I could have sworn agitation had more power to this. It truly is a gents before friends type of world, yeah. Yo, another one trying to hide between these trees. I'm telling you, apparently they know this secret sauce that I don't know. Apparently trees must be super OP goaded. Okay, I was lied to about Dead Heart. I was told if you can see it, if you see that they're doing it, that means that the frames are probably up. I defy. I wasn't waiting for it, but I definitely thought that was enough time given how I saw the animation. Okay, F Fang? Fang, sweetheart, what are we doing? I, I know I don't have the greatest MMR on Trapper, but this is just straight up weird. But on the other hand, they haven't fallen for any of my traps so far, so like, are, they're doing Genj and the other shit right, I just want to know what this play was.
Where the hell is the person that unhooked you? Well, it's about fucking time you showed up. Same dumbass mistake twice in one game. You're telling me the only trap I get this game, the only trap I get the entire fucking game, is an obvious one at the fucking exit gate? I don't know if that makes Trapper Mains happier or sad. I'm so sorry, Kate, for dodging the blind. This shit's over. I was. I should have just got to give you the points, but I no longer have any clue how to communicate that idea to you. Alright, Kate, we're taking too long. Let's go get this over with. Um. 4K with Trapper, who I have not played since. Who knows how long. So, GG's? I guess? Okay, if you would've told me I get a 4K my first game with this dumbass build, I would not have believed you. Now, let's be honest, I don't think the build worked the way I intended. If at all, sure, I got probably some hits that I shouldn't have because they were taking a little bit longer so I got back to them quicker well not quicker but I got to them I should say um this I don't know it has potential I think but every time I try cooler phobia on anybody besides no healing doctor I don't really notice any value from it um just pulling the curtain back behind the giant head either way i tried colorphobia on oni because of course you don't want people healing his oni i couldn't get any value there either so i don't really know if it does anything for anyone besides doctor to be honest i would love somebody prove me wrong if you guys have any ideas drop down below but yeah that's the no healing trapper build tell me what you think if you like the video like it if you got a comment for me comment and until next time, peace out my monstrosities.